Okay, we're looking at position after F takes E6. What happened next? Yeah, this is an incredibly sharp position. And as you can see, both our kings are unsafe. So the kind of the position will hinge on whose king will get to safety. And after white played the really aggressive queen to, oops, sorry. <laughs> queen D3. Sorry. Queen to D3. It looks good. After all, it threatens the queen to come to G6 check. But um, I have the sneaky bishop to B4 mm -hmm. check. And yep. once the king goes to E2, castles. And now this is the key point. When the queen does go to G6, it looks really dangerous. After all, the knight is coming to F6. Yep. But I can actually just sidestep that check and just play king to H8. And suddenly, it's white's king that is mm -hmm. totally in mortal danger. The E5 pawn is weak. I have D3 ideas in the air, and uh, it's just a very, very nice position for me. Yeah, yeah. So what happened next after that? So what did he try and do? He, played he rook tried D3. to survive with rook to D3, yeah. and uh, then I played queen to C7, attacking this pawn. It's not very easy yeah. to defend it. And yeah, he played horrible. queen to g5, and here I was just playing solely on almost intuition. Um, I was thinking, you know, what are the consequences of his last move? You know, the queen took a step back. It allows me to come here yeah. to f7, threatening to go queen to f2. And the only move to stay in the game, I think, is to go rook to h1. And uh, after I played bishop to e7 attacking the queen the queen is oops it's just going backwards all the yeah. time everything's going it's backwards. sounding the retreat and i step forward threatening this pawn and also threatening queen to e4 and uh, uh it, it, it yeah. is pretty bad mm. as and, a karakam uh, player i'd kill for that position as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and it was going quite well until um if we can yeah. fast forward over to like move 41 actually move 41 yeah yeah, so, you know, there were some clear cut ways how to win. And so far, so good. I survived this intense time travel. And here, my hand just reached out and played this dreadful move. Oh, because yeah. uh, it looks great. After all, the rook Happy threatens yes. uh, B. Yeah. Oops, sorry. It does. That. It has a mind of its own. Where yep. are we? There somewhere? King B3? Yeah. Oh, with that, sorry. Yes, you played rook F2. Yeah, I, I let out... Uh, Oh, terrible sound, actually, <laughs> when I realized that rook takes bishop is actually possible. Ooh. And uh, pawn takes rook is met by queen takes rook. Hey. Ouch. And that, I don't know what would have happened there. Maybe I could have survived for a draw, yeah, 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 but yeah. I was really kicking myself. Thankfully, my opponent didn't spot that and instead queen to b8. Mm. But after king to h7, you can be super calm and chilled about it. The knight comes yeah. to f6. You can actually just take and... Yeah. Uh, Despite that check on yeah. h3. And so There's the rook nothing. will swing across to give a check. But yeah. now, the, now you have to be a little bit accurate, yes. but it's not so hard. Yeah. The king comes to g6 and after the queen to g8, this is the point the queen will intercept. And after queen to e Eight check. You get chased the king, all the way up the board, but... King goes to g5, and the so beauty what? of the position is that uh, I still have rook to b2 in the bag, and also queen to b7 threatening checkmate, so it's game over. Yeah, a, nice, yeah. a good day at the office. Oh, uh, barring the blunder, okay. I would say it was a good day. <laughs> Thanks, you anchor. <laughs>